All right, kids of the interwebs. Uh, so this this is a video I wanted to make for a while. I know I haven't made a video in like five years. I've been uploading some bad kids, uh, you know, school stuff and a bunch of other shit. So you know, that's why. And I'm gonna try to start uploading, but uh, no one cares. Anyways, so uh, you read the title. Naruto is sick. Uh, it's kind of it's pretty ambiguous, but uh, this is kind of a. Uh, unconventional video this is basically just gonna be me not like it's not gonna be some profound analysis or some in-depth video on you know discussing naruto or whatever but it's just basically gonna be me fanboying over naruto's uh, uh dynamics and the power systems and like the fights and the world basically i just really like i, I really love everything about it well not everything you know war arc but everybody knows that but so it's it's gonna be i have a deep appreciation of just how creative and just how incredibly immersive uh the whole world is and i'm sure most of everybody know knows this especially uh, if you've seen the series i mean just looking at the uh, tankaba covers is i mean should tell you a lot about just how cool this shit is and so i, I before we i really get into it just ju just appreciate these pictures i know you bro come on look oh my god look at this that's sick come on bro that shit is cool as fuck man this is like bleach when people say, oh, Ukiora is too edgy or something, or like, oh, lol, this is trash. But, but like, I would get hyped as fuck, man. That shit is cold as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But that's going off point. Maybe I'll make one of these videos for bleach, too. So I think that's just cool as fuck, too. One Piece is not cool, but, but it's really good, too. But maybe like a different video, but I'm getting off topic. But, uh, so, I mean, everybody knows, obviously, coldest thing is the Katsuki. They're so fucking sick. I mean, all of them, really. Maybe some of them you can argue, but at least just as a cool factor, they're so sick. Um, so uh, let's talk about the po uh, the power system and uh, chakra. And so I want to preface this by saying, mo, it's probably one of my favorites, which is kind of odd because most people would uh, uh, say their favorite is like stands or uh nan or alchemy perhaps or something like that. maybe it is chakra i don't know it's my favorite is chakra because well uh i don't think it's perfect i don't think it's you know it's as what did you say complex as like uh, stands or something but the reason i like it is because it's got a really good foundation obviously it's inspired by you know the chakra you know uh, and all of the abilities and just how much shit you can do with it. It's really cool. I mean, there's like a billion jutsu. Everybody knows about that. It's just the coolest shit possible. And I want to, uh, my, obviously, so there's ninjutsu, genjutsu, and taijutsu. Every, I mean, hopefully, everybody who's watching this know what it is. But ninjutsu is basically like magic. Taijutsu is like fighting, like hand to hand combat. And genjutsu, I mean, just fucking mind tricks, bro. They have mind battles. I mean, it's so cool. Uh, sage mode, probably my favorite power in the entire series, apart from Kamui. Those two are probably my favorite, but, you know, Kamui is like. I don't know, it's like Magi Kyo and everything, but Dojutsu, I mean, it's sort of pioneered this, I mean, it's, that's ridiculous, you know what I mean, all these magic eyeballs, and just how, but the how much shit, you know what I mean, that's put into it, all the story behind it, and yeah, some of it's very annoying, you know, it's with the Uchiha, which uh, I do agree with, but, I mean, just, bro, like, just look at, just just look at these clips bro look at this shit what oh my god look at just obito by himself is enough but oh my god look at amaterasu kamui sukiyomi koromatsu kami i mean they're based on the shinto gods and i'm <laughs> bro come on now bro come i know i know this, this is so sick uh 
my favorite is Kamui. I mean, everybody, I think, probably loves Kamui and it's so fucking cool. Uh, second favorite is probably Amaterasu. I, I do like, like, Sugiyomi and, like, Koro Amatsukami, and we don't really know what Madaras is, but it was... I mean, in one of the games, it said it was, like, time something, or, like, stops time. I mean, that's really powerful, but, like, it's not as cool to me. And there's, um, I forget what Sasuke's second one is. Is it, uh, I'll probably put, like, a text of it. I can't remember. Maybe I'll remember. Uh, so, uh, Itachi, of course, has Amaterasu and, uh, Tsukuyomi, uh, Kakashi and Obito has the two Kamuis, Koro Matsukami, the, both Shishui has both of those. So, I mean, this is so fucking cool. I mean, bro, come on. Like, like I used to try to do Kamehameha's, but like, look at this shit. I mean, I'm not trying to put down Dragon Ball, I love that shit too, but like, this is... Bro, you fucking just stare at someone, and you can like, put them through hell, and their eyes start bleeding, and this shit is going crazy, man. And then like you, you, you like do the, you know what I'm saying, blink and it makes the sound, and then it, it is a mess. You feel me? This shit is crazy. I know this sounds. This is not the most professional video. I'm just, I'm just, you know what I mean. What do you want me to do, man? This is cool. Uh, then of course the big bad Renegans. I mean, well, so first of all, you know we discussed. We didn't discuss, but most people know, you know, you have to do, you gotta fucking just have some shit happen to you before you even awaken, uh, as, so that's, as tragic as, um, awakening the manga kyo is, and then you have to perfect the Rinnegan, and it's, the only person who's ever done it is Madara, well, apart from, you know, like, Sage, as Sage of Six Pats and his sons and everything, but, I mean, this thing is honestly like one of those broken things in the entire series uh, at least before the war arc because in the war arc is you know what i mean <laughs> little gods and eighth gates and everything but we'll get to that i mean so it's the six six paths are based on the six realms of the afterlife in samsara which is a hindu uh, hindu and uh, sort of buddhist well, Buddhism kind of rips off a lot of Hinduism, so it's more with Hinduism. Uh, the idea, and it's this um, six realms of the un uh, afterlife. You know, you have, you have, like, the Naraka path, you have the Asura path, and you have the, you know, like, and all of them have all these different kinds of abilities based on them. Like, you know, you have the gravity powers with um, the Deva path, uh, the king of hell he can you know so be able to heal all wounds the one um the one that can just spam infinite summons the animal path that one's sick the one that can fucking rip your soul out i mean f absorbs all ninjutsu i mean this sh bro like this man this is and also it i mean it helps that pain has this being a Katsuki and so obviously they just look cool as shit and they got like the piercing I mean this I mean bro come up look at this look at just look at pain bro I you cannot tell me I don't care who you are you cannot tell me that is not the coldest shit you have ever seen man this is like an emo but this is like a death metal band but this is crazy and they got like superpowers they got hella piercings oh my god this is ridiculous Okay, okay. So this is probably my favorite. It's I mean I love Renegons, I love Manga Kill, I love the eight gates, but Sage Mode. I fucking love Sage Mode. I don't know what it is. I think just just like how you achieve it so is really speaks to me and just like the art I don't like you know like the artistic abilities of it like all the colors and every it's it, you know it's sort of like in light is like you're uh, achieving enlightenment and the it's sort, of, sort of like mythology behind it really makes it that's why i really like it it's like cultural i'm not sure how i'm not sure if i'm articulating this correctly but uh, is you know I'm just, maybe I'll just show some pictures to better understand, but that's why, because uh, I think like the Renegons or whatever they're more like the, you don't 
yeah sure you, the ways you awaken it and everything i don't you know the sage mode just seems like more of like i'm not sure what it is like the creative or just like looks really unique and uh artistic in a sense but anyways to get started so first of all you have to make a contract with the summon so i mean that's pretty simple but not only that you have to somehow convince these magic animals you know what i mean the sage creatures who are also cool as shit by the way i mean the, the, somehow they made a goddamn toad like the baddest motherfucker you've ever seen like how the fuck it's a goddamn toad, man. And a sl how do you make that cool? And not only cool, like cool as shit, bro. It's it got two fucking what, frogs on his shoulders, Jariah. And like this man looks sick. I mean, what, what the fuck? Let's just take a moment to appreciate that. I mean, it's a goddamn toad. You know, no, I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm not racist to like frog amphibians. What's it? What's it? plural for amphibian amphibians probably i don't know anyways then you have to re they have to reverse summon you and there's these giant magic animals and then they have to in these in these like at least with the ones we see is kabuto and naruto i mean in frog sage mode so the mainly we see with the toad so and they you have to like go pray to like the lord to like the elder frog or the toad and then he'd be like all right all right go on you know i mean you have to play you got to you got to yeah you know i'm saying got to train and he's fucking sick and then he's like and then he goes this and he gets like superpowers when you at least when they're a perfect sage and but even before that and it's like natural energy so you're like it's not even you and you're like vibing bro and you get these cool ass markings all over you sometimes you may even mutate you know it doesn't even matter i mean it's so fucking cool you get like superpowers and then like you get you're so fucking strong you can start fucking chucking goddamn giant ass summons you can like you know you got nature energy obviously you got all these sensory capabilities you can fuck shit up you're fast as fuck i mean it's, it also it looks so fucking cool the idea is cool i mean everything about it is like the coolest shit except minato fuck minato he did not deserve that shit i will fucking fight anybody don't try to be loose foreshad fuck you okay if it was foreshadowed that could have been jiraiya and minato and minato could have just had the cute part of the cube which also was triggering the whole fucking series was about naruto having the nine tails turns out he didn't have the whole thing what the fuck this is so, I fucking hate Minato, but that's another video. If you want to dislike, fuck you. You can do that shit. Fuck Minato, this whore. Let me just end, end this off with some of, two of my favorite fights. Uh, Obito versus... Uh, oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, Naruto versus Pain. So, obviously, we just talked about this stage mode like for, for five hours so i mean i'm not really going to talk about that but just how i mean pain comes in with the renegades and he's fucking rest in peace the entire leaf village and he's so fucking cool bro like the, you see and then he like whips out the renegades and we're always all hyped because this is the first time it's been hyped up the whole series well not the whole series at least most of shippuden right so it's like we're like expecting like some hard ass shit and this this thing bro when he went up and he was like oh my dude push but i was just like oh my god but is everybody dead everybody fucking died this shit was crazy and then naruto was like came out of nowhere and then he like jumps and he's got like three three giant ass toads and he's in sage mode and then he's like a zebra russian shuriken <laughs> death you know what I mean? And then he just starts punching people, start ripping people's heads off. This shit is crazy. And then, and then, and then Pain was like, Chewbacca Tensei! And then he makes a goddamn gravity spear. I mean, what the f- Oh my god. And also, it's one of the, I mean, one of the greatest fights in anime. Well, Pain is obvious. It's helped by Pain being one of the greatest villains. Not only in Naruto, probably the best one in Naruto. And some one of the best in shonen in anime in general i mean so that obviously helps but also just the dynamics 
that chakra creates in this world allows in those fights and just how meticulous uh, meticulous not meticulous meticulous the the author um kishimoto is able to in line and just the levels of comp competence he shows in writing fights i mean he's natural genius as writing fights i mean just look at any naruto fights i mean it's possible naruto's probably got the strongest at least fights in in quality and quantity uh, you know if you look into both as, as a as a cohesive naruto has probably got the best one at least the most impressive right so you know the Daedara versus sasuke naruto versus sasuke to, to all of them you know what i'm saying obito versus anybody really uh madara versus hashirama kakashi versus uh zabuza uh jiraiya versus pain i mean it, it's fucking all of them basically kakashi versus obito obviously so i mean that obviously helps but it's so fucking cool and like just how he's able to uh counteract these and use these certain abilities uh to their advantage right and so that really helps so i think so that's basically what i wanted to say uh i think unless and it's just so fucking i really appreciate just how competent that is but to finish this off i want to talk about obito versus conan i mean this is just visually this is probably my favorite fight just as like because just like as like look how cool this shit is kind of deal i mean because my god bro this shit was so cool i mean conan i mean just naturally both of these both of these uh, characters are just like them just existing is cool just because how their jutsus work i mean conan just like you're walking around with like it's got like paper shit i mean it looks fucking sick and then obito has obviously got kamui and you know mask and everything the sharinga so when they show up and then conan start to like peel off like her paper and shit and then she starts to fly and then obito's like comboing through everything and then he's like teleporting all the paper bombs and it looks fucking cool and then i don't know here, she fucking opens up a ocean a goddamn ocean of paper bombs and the obito starts falling in the bitch and then he starts dying he's like oh shit bro i'm finna die and then he's like he's a maggie out of nowhere i was like what the this shit is crazy man so anyways that's gonna be the video uh i know this is kind of weird that you know i i thought it was fucking cool so uh i'm gonna see y'all later thank y'all so much for watching and uh, it's been fucking five years but uh we'll be uploading some podcasts and hopefully i can start uploading but you know it's fucking life is hard all right see you kids uh shout out to the chakra and like naruto's world and shit but you know i've just i'm not saying it's perfect but uh it's fucking cool peace also subscribe okay bye